Hello folks and welcome Linux Mint 21.2 Mate Desktop. I have a video also already posted on the Cinnamon and XFCE desktop as one video regarding printers. So today I'm going to be talking about installing printers and what kind of drivers if you want to do manual drivers. Okay, lots of little tips and tricks. So welcome folks. <clears throat> so I'm going to be um, closing the welcome screen now. Hopefully you've seen that. And I'm going to briefly talk about printers and then I'll show you what I use. And also talk about drivers because there are two different type of drivers you need to be aware of. So there's lots of manufacturers in the world that makes printers. Not all of them are Linux friendly and that's really unfortunate. Some of these uh, are very short-sighted and they don't see a large market for Linux. But the Linux market is uh, very, how do I put this? Um, it's not something that you can figure out how many users are using Linux out there. It's a little bit harder actually. But there are uh, very, very many users using Linux. So with that said, hopefully you have picked a printer that is Linux friendly. And I'm going to talk about some drivers if you are wanting to install those. So what's the tool in uh, the Mate desktop? It's uh, type in PRI, the printer configuration tool. Okay. You can also open it up this way. Find your control center. Click that. Go to the administration section and click on printers. So I'm going to close this box. And I am filming in 1920 by 1080 today, folks. You can uh, click on your gear symbol on your YouTube player and adjust it accordingly if need be. So this tool is called System Config Dash Printer, a CUPS configuration tool. That is not CUPS of coffee or CUPS of tea. Common Unix printing system. Linux is a Unix-like system. So is Apple Max. Microsoft, not so much. So let me first get this out of the way. Why do I use Brother printers? And then I'll talk about some other printers and what to look for. So the reason I use Brother printers is they work and they work and they work. And uh, more importantly, the supplies or consumables are fairly inexpensive, like toner cartridges or inkjet cartridges. I have one more other brother printer, which is not displayed. It's an inkjet, but it's also a brother printer. That QL570 is a brother printer. It just doesn't say that. It does now. All right, so brother printers are uh, not only compatible with uh, Linux, but also Microsoft Windows, Macs, and even iOS. This is a network printer. This was auto-discovered. I didn't do a thing. All I did was turn on Linux Mint Mate, and it go and went to go find it on my network without me asking to do anything. And it set it up. It's a driverless pr printer, but it set it up nonetheless, and it's ready to print. So I kind of like that feature. I can be a couch potato and print directly from my couch if I want to. I can be in the garage and print. I can print from my uh, Mac system. I can print from my Microsoft computer. I can print from my other Linux computers. I can print from my iPhone. All right, so Brother is also Linux driver friendly. Just wanted to point that out because I'm going to talk about this one here and give you a demo on how to install a driver for one of these. So I can't be giving you explanations on how to install driver for uh, drivers for all printers in the world because I don't know what you have. And there are many, many different drivers out there. But I can tell you what type of driver to look out for. So if you get nothing out of this video, I will at least point you in that direction. All right. So with that said, that's the reason I pick Brother printers. Not only do they work, but they work on all my systems and they just keep working. This guy goes to sleep after I print. That's a nice feature. That's a nice feature. This one is USB based. So I am going to talk about all these settings in here a little bit later. 
But first, let's find a driver for this printer. So again, this is a Brother QL570. It's a dedicated label printer. I'll even show you what it looks like through a website. So um, I have some other videos on my YouTube site for tips and tricks on doing all kinds of things, including resizing the innards of a web page, which I'm doing right now. Okay, I'm holding down the control key while scrolling. And you can watch all my videos on those kind of tips. So this is what the printer physically looks like. It has a little spool in here, which is changeable from width to wide labels. So the labels basically just roll out with a motor and then it cuts. All right, let's talk about drivers. So I clicked the OS or operating system and it is asking me right now, do I want Windows, Mac or Linux? Well, I have selected Linux. What kind of Linux is asking me? Oh, now a lot of people will go, huh, this makes a little bit more sense and which one do I use? Well, if you get nothing out of this video, at least I can point you in the direction of which driver to use on your Linux Mint Mate desktop. Well, Linux Mint has, um, well, let me, let me put it to you in a different way. What do these letters stand for? Uh, a lot of you folks already know. So uh, RPM is not rounds per minute. It's Red Hat package management. So this is for Red Hat type of systems. And uh, Deb is not Debra. This is Debian. Linux Mint is Debian based, Ubuntu Debian based. So you would want that one. So you're on a website that has uh, your manufacturer and you found that they offer Linux drivers and uh, you want to select the Debian based drivers. All right, continue. Let me resize this a little bit for you. So I have two different printer drivers. I have the LPR, Debian, back, uh, Debian package based, not, not Red Hat or RPM. Uh, and then I have a CUPS wrapper driver. CUPS is a common Unix printing system. Okay, source code, and then I have some templates down here for Linux. I actually downloaded that also, and I'll show you an example of it for this printer. But this is the driver that I would want. And uh, agree to the EULA and download. So what does it look like? Download folder time. So that's the actual driver. I'm going to make this bigger for you. So it has the uh, name of the printer, the QL570, and the last part is .deb. This is the driver. Okay. This other file here is the templates, which when I uncompressed it turns into that folder. The Warpinator folder is used for file sharing. You should have one of these also. But more importantly, I'm going to open this driver up. So after you download the driver from your respective uh, website, if they offer a Debian based driver, you would just double click. And uh, if the driver is already installed, you may want to reinstall the driver, but sometimes you won't have this and it'll say install. You just double, you just click on it. You don't have to do anything special and you allow it to finish. And then it'll give you the message, same version already installed. That's pretty common. And then you just close. That's the driver. You're done. All right. This file here are just templates. And you can see these are in millimeters. That means the size of these labels. They're in uh, ODS and ODT formats. Consequently, your office suite, if you have kept the LibreOffice, I want you to see the default formats that they save things in. ODT and OTT. So this is made for LibreOffice Writer, for instance. These are just templates for that little label prayer. So again, let's just concentrate on the driver. You downloaded that from uh, your particular printer manufacturer. And again, you want the Debian based package. Okay. Now let's go back to this and I'll explain the interface. So we have the help troubleshoot. We have the about. Again, this is the tool itself. And again, cups is not cup of tea. It's common Unix printing system because Linux is a Unix based type of system. Linux is a Unix based type of system. So is Mac, Microsoft, not so much. 
discovered printers. Again, I didn't do a thing. It auto discovered this printer. As soon as I powered up my machine, it goes and finds it. Very cool. Very nice feature. And I do recommend that if you do have the option of network printers. That way you don't have to have a physical cable to occupy your USB port. And more importantly, you can print from other devices or other operating systems. All right. To have these light up, you have to have one of these clicked. If it's blank like this, these will be grayed out. So I'll just click that one. So as you can see, the default is also grayed out because it has a green check mark. I can set that as default. Now on the Cinnamon and XFC, I believe it requires your password to change those settings. Okay, so let me go back in here. So there's properties. You can also just double click. It's the same thing. Just nice clicking that. I'll get to those in a second. Du duplicate, rename, and delete if you wanted to start from scratch. You probably want the enabled. You can certainly turn it off though. And shared is an option. Are you sharing your printer or not? Set as default is also an option. And then um, your printer is not uh, printing for some reason. You may want to view the print queue. See what's going on in that thing. And we'll make this bigger. So um, you have a, something going on with the status of something. Some examples would be maybe your USB cable came dislodged. It's not connected properly, in other words. Maybe it has... Uh, um, if it's a printer that has an ink cartridge or toner, maybe that's what's going on. Um, maybe it's got a paper jam, you know, those kind of things. You can also clear the queue. There's some different keys up here. All right, that's the print queue. When you got the connect, again, cups, not cup of tea, common Unix printing system. You have uh, settings, basic settings and advanced. And you have new printer and class, or you can also do add. I'll just pick on that uh, little label printer. You can see it's USB connected. In most cases, when you connect a USB printer, your uh, Linux Mint Monte desktop auto detects and tries to install the best version of printer for you. Again, after it gets done installing, you wanna open this up and do a, print, a test print. That doesn't work, look at some of the other options or go to the manufacturer's website and try to find a Debian-based driver. Okay. So if you're dealing with network printers, they look, they're in this category. Okay. So um, mine is right here. It says driverless on it. Sometimes you'll have two of these. Okay. But more importantly, these are network printers. Now, let me uh, give you some uh, tips on network versus connected. So um, I'll start with the connected one. This is again, as uh, when I open this up, let me first talk about the properties and then I'll talk about what you, you, you should expect when you hit print. So the name of that printer, uh, the location is just the name of my machine. It's been 21.2 uh, Mate or Mate. Uh, some people call it. You can also open up your terminal box and, there's the name of your computer right there. Uh, so anyways, that's what that is. The device URI, the front part tells you how it's connected. If it has the words USB, that's how it's connected. Make and model self-explanatory. Now the printer state is a good thing to look at. Is it idle? Is it uh, down? Is it up? Is it doing something different than idle? So idle, you should be able to print. Okay. Policies. Not really going to cover that, up, but a lot of people don't use that. But access control, printer options, you may want to change the size of your paper. In my case, it's rolls in this case, because that's a label printer. Uh, print quality and auto cut or not. And is it die cast or continuous in my case? And uh, job options as a drag bar and toner levels. The other one's a little different. You can see my printer options are slightly different. Now I have the same printer obviously connected to several systems. So when I have the Cinnamon desktop open and uh, let's say this thing runs uh, low on toner, uh, my yellow cartridge the other day I needed a new one, I get a post-it note even though that says no status message from this printer. And I don't really buy into that. I still think it gives you status messages. 
That's just me. And that's a plus. All right, let me talk about the difference between the two as far as printing. Uh, whether you're printing from a web page or printing from your office suite like LibreOffice Writer, when you have a USB connected printer, they usually start printing faster than network printers. And why is that? Because your network printer needs some, um, well, your system is generating a print a command that is generated through your network. In other words, it takes the signal that when you pressed print and sends it through your router, whether you're connected uh, through Ethernet or through Wi-Fi. It has to send it to your router. Your router has to connect to the printer, providing it's online, and then send that document to the printer through your network. That all that stuff takes time. Sometimes it could be as low as uh, eight seconds. It could be as long as 30. Your network also it could be busy. Your family could be streaming lots of movies, that kind of thing. The USB based printers, again, are connected directly to your machine, your computer. These are not. There's no physical connection. They're done through the network. So if your network is not working, the printer is not working. So data takes a little bit of time. And if you're doing a web browser, um, type of page that has got a lot of colorful pictures, it may take a while for it to dump that data. It could be as long as uh, 30 seconds or maybe 45 seconds. In my case, I have a fairly fast network <clears throat> and uh, even from my iPhone, it usually only takes about 10 seconds for it to start printing. But it, it's uh, nice to have one of these kind of printers because not only can I print from Linux, but I can also print from my Macs, Microsoft, and iPhones. Okay, so USB-based, again, you plug it in, auto discovers, get a post-it note. It tries to uh, guess at the driver. If the thing installs itself and it's finished, open up this utility. Again, what is it called again? System Config Printer, you can just put in PRI to find it and uh, once you got it open you basically I have two of these now all right so alt and F4 you basically open this properties up and do a test print providing it says idle on it if it doesn't say idle find out why you need to physically look at your printer could be anything from the cable to uh, needing some supplies or even paper it's a very common thing you ran out of paper but print the thing nonetheless to make sure that it actually prints. When you're doing a network, it may take up to, again, could be as long as 30 seconds. Just be patient. Okay. Hopefully you found some of this information helpful. Thank you for watching.